Hello, my beautiful Leos. Welcome to your love forecast horoscope for February. This is going to cover love, wealth, and what you need to know spiritually that you don't know that you need to know that can help you with your situation. I want to thank you guys so much for liking, sharing, and subscribing. And thank you to my members. I really appreciate all of your support. And if you guys would like a live person reading with me, go to my website, jenniferwalkers.com, or check out the description box below. All right, so let's jump right in here. So we're going to be talking about first love, then career and finance, and then what you need to know spiritually that you don't know that you need to know could help your situation. And if you guys like it this way, you want me to continue this way? Hit that like button. Let me know in the comments below. All right, my beautiful darlings, let's jump right in. All right, what's going to my Leo's romantic love life? Give me nine cards for my Leo's romantic love life. Give me nine cards for my Leo's career and finance. For the month of February, show me the cards you need to see. Show me the cards I need to see. All right. Is this going to be the first half of February? There's like a teasing kind of energy coming in here, uh, Leo. Okay, for your romantic love life. What's that about? Okay, let's find out what that is about. All right, so the bottom of the deck, someone has a sense of feeling very cautious, defensive, concerns about getting hurt, that kind of energy coming out. Someone's like, I want more, more, more. I want more, more, more. Okay, what's that about? All right, what's gonna have my Leo's romantic love life? Give me nine cards, my Leo's romantic love life. Give me nine cards, my Leo's career and finance for the month of February. Show me the cards you see. Show me the cards I need to see. Okay, let's see what that's about here. I don't know, someone's got some plans going on here. They got a collaboration, they're working on some stuff here. Mm-hmm, mm. Someone's trying to build something with you, Leo. Okay, they uh, want loyalty and devotion, okay. <laughs> This is the beginning of the month. Okay, we're getting started with the bang here. Okay, let's keep going. Let's get my Leo's romantic love life for the month of February. Show me cards you see. Show me the cards you need to see. Let's see here. <laughs> I told you. <laughs> it's exactly what I was feeling. There's like a teasing kind of energy. Mm-hmm. Okay, so there's a lot of chemistry and passion with this person, potential passion exercises, trying to build something, work on this, move this further. I feel like this person's like feeling like that. This has been like a very passionate situation, but they want more out of it, okay? Because that's why I hear saying more, 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 okay? So someone wants more. They want more out of the connection. Let's use this deck today. What's gonna have my Leo's romantic love life? Give me nine cards, my Leo's romantic love life. Give me nine cards, my Leo's career and the finance for the month of February. Show me the cards I need to see. Show me the cards I need to see. Okay, what's this about? Yep. Someone's like, Leo, there's so much potential here. You know, I really want to have loyalty, devotion. I know you have your options here. I'm really trying to get over this hurt and pain, this ruination of plants here with the Ten of Swords energy. So at the beginning of the month, it seems like someone's concerned because there was some kind of ruination of plans about traveling. And um, uh, there was uh, a want for some kind of commitment here. Yeah, something about this travel commitment here that makes somebody feel upset that th things didn't come through the way it was supposed to. And uh, there's like this concern of like, you're gonna walk away from me, or you know, I don't know if I, how I'm gonna deal with this situation. It's like this avoidance kind of energy here with the Eight of Cups. And this person's like really desperate here, Leo. Someone's really desperate here to kind of figure out what the heck is going on. And so there's advice being gotten here with the nurturing card energy. Yeah, it's like there's, again, something about this travel situation or this faraway energy from somebody and someone's trying to get some kind of support from somebody else that they, they can, so it seems like there was some, there's some kind of travel plans happening here, but it didn't work out the way someone planned it and there was like a ruination of plans around it. And so someone's like, well, let me see if I can get support from someone else or get someone to come with me here 
So that kind of energy is going on here. Um, so there's some working together, collaborating. This person's like, all right, you know what? There's so much potential in this connection. I really want some movement. I want some change. Uh, also, this person also, I can see this in another way as well, because I know I'm dealing with a lot of different Leos. Um, this person also could want to have children as well, all right? Or could be talking about blending families together um, and the potential of the connection of building something here, okay? collaborating, building something with the Three of Pentacles energy um, to bring something more out of the connection here. Because you got this this voyage card, but on the same token, it's like a mother and a baby there. And then you also have the motherly energy with the uh, nurturing card. And then you also have this passionate situation and trying to build something on it, okay? Build something on this connection. So you could be dealing with a Cancer Scorpio Pisces energy. It looks like in the middle of the month here, Leo, there's this very deep, deep love here, King of Cups energy, and someone who is very hopeful, star card energy, of gaining some kind of knowledge here, book card energy, of um, overcoming some kind of obstacles in this connection. They feel like there's like blockages or obstacles when it comes to you in this connection emotionally. So it looks like you're going to receive some kind of communication, uh, loving messages here. And um, you could also be talking about speaking about money and finance or something of value here in this letter or message document. And it looks like you're going to see some really great signs here about the situation. It's like there were some issues here, there were some obstacles to overcome, and then all of a sudden, by the middle of the month, you're like, that's it. I see that there is some kind of significant sign here. There's a, a it gives you clarity, I feel like. It's like, it's like you have this moment where you're like, okay, I get it. Okay, I see that. So then you start to wonder, okay, do I give my heart to this person or not? It was the Queen of Cups energy. There's starting to be a questioning now of like, maybe, maybe there, there is love here. Maybe I can give my heart to this person. Maybe there can be a marriage here, uh, a long-term commitment here. Hmm. So let's keep going. Um, and for some of you, if it's not a marriage, it's, it's working together with this person, collaborating together with this person, or you guys work together. Um, and there could be a work-related commitment, but there's strong emotions here around the situation. And it's really powerful, actually, because there's, a, there's just a massive change here. Um, and I hear a massive glow up here with this situation. Because what I, what, when I came to your reading, it was just like there has been this like kind of teasing, flirting kind of energy going on with you and this person, okay? And also what I was getting was uh, this person wanted more and more and more, okay? So they want more and more of your time. They want more and more out of this connection. So that's what I felt when I came to your reading. So let's see what else I pick up on here. I feel like also there is a sense that there's a, a person who this person wants to nourish the connection. Um, so like kind of like what I, the image I was giving was like, you know, how if you eat junk food, it's not really, it's not very nourishing to the body, but if you eat fruits and vegetables, it's more nourishing to the body. So it's like this person doesn't want junk food on this, you know, connection. They want, they want, um, connections with you or they want to connect with you in a way that's going to be significant and that's going to be nourishing to the 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 connection you know there's been a lot of flirting there's been a lot of passion there's been a lot of chemistry but this person's like okay that's like candy to me what i really want is i really want something more deeper something more significant in this connection because i have this deep profound love for you and I just want to know that you're on the same page with me about this because I, I really I really am deeply in love with you. And, um, you know, I really want more of a deepness to this connection. OK, so that's what I'm feeling like. And also with that truck outside there, it feels like it's a very heavy truck. It's like this is weighing heavy on this person. And also, there could be, you guys could be doing a lot of traveling for work too as well, because I see that there's a lot of travel cards here. So again, the cherry card's coming out talking about traveling here at the end of the month, and or something about this travel situation is causing some kind of regrets, and someone feels bad about this. 
and um, it looks like you're deciding to go hang out with friends and just have a good time with the Three of Cups energy. And there is this realization, I feel like when you connect with your friends and you talk with your friends, that you may be talking and speaking to them about the fact that there is, you're realizing now that there is a real deep love with this person, okay? You're realizing it now by the end of the month that there is this deep love. And so you're really thinking about it. You're doing some soul searching here by the end of the month and you're trying to figure it all out, right? Because this person is, is, they're asserting themselves and they've been making power moves towards you. And because they have a, this is profound, deep love for you, okay? And um, I feel like you guys, you know, maybe your friends don't exactly agree with you on your opinions on this, but it seems like you want to protect the connection because you had a realization by the middle of the month there that, you know what, I do feel the same way for this person too. And now you're starting to fall more deeply in love with this person by the end of the month and you're not really caring about what people's opinions are because you're letting this grow and you feel like this connection with this person is very healing. So let's keep going here. So we have the Five of Swords by the end of the month here. Seems to be like this defeated energy by the end of the month. But on the same token, because of this defeated energy, should I stand up and fight? Should I walk away from the situation? You have this sigh of relief around this. Because you're looking back to the past, you're looking back to the memories with this person, and there's a sense of regret, feeling bad about the situation. But you're realizing, because it, it was like built on something that was very passionate, right? There is a, there's, a, there's a path here. There's a clear path here in this connection. So let's bring it all together. So really the, the month is about you realizing that there is a strong potential with this person, okay? And this person's really coming on strong emotionally, okay? But on the same token, you are not sure if you wanna move forward. It seems like they're getting very serious very quickly because they want more and more and more of your time and more and more significant, um, you know, they want more and more to this connection. They don't want just like, you know, a, a, a shallow kind of connection. They want very deep, profound, things from you and it, it kind of it seems like it's, it's kind of like uh, you're not sure about it so we see there's this potential and see there's some obstacles here emotionally some blockages here but we see this deep love and this this enlightenment that you have and this this spiritual sign that you receive and you're trying to protect this now and you're you're you know you're there's a long distance situation or far away energy or there's some movement here or there's some changes here that are very shocking to you right we see the tower card there and there's this path here this very pleasurable joyful path coming up for you guys okay i feel like also the 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 issue is as you can see the the issue is is with the friends here that are causing these concerns regrets with this love connection right so it's more or less the friends around this. Now, if it's not your friends, it could be their friends, but somebody's friends. Because uh, I see here, it's like someone's giving advice and we see about some kind of letter, message, document, communication, it's friends. And, um, and you see that this passionate situation, we see communication about these regrets. And we see there's knowledge of this money situation or money and finance that could be affecting this situation, right? And we see a commitment to gaining knowledge because it's a steep love and we see somebody that you could work with, their money card energy. Or money has been affecting, you know, because obviously some of you, one of you, some of you guys may be traveling for work or something work related or work related things have been getting in the way with the connection. So you have a strong chemistry and passion and knowledge of the situation or keeping it, keeping it secret from friends. And this commitment to this letter message document, this very deep, profound love and advice about this money situation and these concerns with this regret. And at the bottom of the deck, I see that there's some socializing happening here and making an effort towards a relationship, but you're having, see I said, uncertainty. Um, so you're soul searching about this situation and trying to give it some time. Um, but you do, are you, you are realizing this is a blessing, this is a destiny, you know, this is, this is the time. And, um, but you're having to delay these things here until you're really sure it's safe for you to love and you can make the wisest decision, okay? So we see this loyalty and devotion and hopefulness and regrets about things that happened before. But we see this travel and money situation and a boss. And we see that there is this 
desperation here and we see there's something about this commitment here and trying to have a sigh of relief. So it's like, it seems like they're your person really wants you to spend more time with them, really wants more from you, but it seems like there's like a work related situation or friends related or both that is kind of affecting some things here. Um, so there's some working together and this deep profound love and we see this traveling situation and a ruination of plans but we see that there's there's loving messages here and lots of deep heavy soul searching about uh, walking away or avoiding uh, emotions here and then there's this contemplation about love and and just just surrendering to it I feel like you guys are just gonna the, why the five of swords is there I feel like you're just gonna surrender to it because you realize like Wow, there is love here. This per there, I am in love with them. This person's in love with me. There is something profound here. And you just surrender to it. And you're just like, okay, I give up. I surrender. <laughs> okay, fine. There's love. <laughs> okay, so let me um let me get some advice for you guys. My advice for my Leos when it comes to romantic love life for the highest best good for the best possible outcome for them. For the month of February, show me cards you need to see. Show me the cards I need to see. Okay. And what does the card say, guys? Oh, my goodness. One of the readers said, I swear I can't make this up. Um, water, water, which is emotions, it says surrender. <laughs> yeah. Okay. Um, don't let your money and finance affect your situation. Have a sense of peace and harmony. Okay. Take some actions here to protect this situation and you're gonna fulfill your desires, okay, with this situation. <laughs> mm-hmm. Okay, let's move on to your current finance. You know I'm here from you guys in the comments below, okay? <laughs> All right, so the beginning of the month here, it looks like you're either receiving a bonus, you're receiving some kind of money, you're receiving investment money for some of you guys you know, investors. This is like, for me, the Six of Pentacles when it comes to career and finance is like the investor card. Like the Seven of Pentacles is like when you're investing in stocks. But the Six of Pentacles is like when you're receiving money from investors. So, so it looks like you're receiving some kind of money, okay? Because somebody wants to hold on to you for assured success with the Four of Pentacles energy. And you're feeling good about it. There's a success, there's a happy energy around this situation, okay? Yes, main person. Uh, they're concerned about um, you're being upset or you're not happy about something. So they're trying to bring a sense of joy and happiness back into this connection, this, this situation. So going further, you guys are really focused here and concerned about some kind of stagnation in the situation. And you know what? There is a risk being taken here. Uh, something has come to light and you're going for it. You're taking a risk there. By the middle of the month, you're in the state of confusion. You're not sure if you have rosy colored glasses on. Cause that's what I feel like when I see the moon card. It's like saying, I'm not seeing everything clearly. I'm not sure if I have rosy colored glasses on. Um, but there's concerns about uh, a loss of confusion because of people around that helps bring some kind of clarity to you. Interesting. And you, there's some politics to be played here with the King of Swords energy, but someone's gonna speak with you, Gemini, Libra, Aquarius energy, about some big changes coming, happening about money and finance and abundance. So we got this truth that's being spoken, Queen of Swords energy, Gemini, Libra, Aquarius energy. And it's a real blessing, actually. This, this communication is a real blessing. It's a turn of events for you guys. And you're able to see the bigger picture here by the middle of the month. So it looks like by the end of the month, you guys are gonna be juggling two different things at once, okay? So two different uh, projects, two different uh, things you're working on, um, but two different things. Some of you guys may be writing a book too. We said the book card or maybe even teaching because this is like the professor card. So, but something about this situation, you are gonna be juggling. Um, some of you guys could be learning something here because this book card could talk about learning. So some of you guys could be deciding to go back to school or learn a new skill or having to pick up some other skill here and you have to gain some kind of knowledge around it. So it looks like you're trying to, do, well, this is the final card actually. Um, you are definitely um, in a space where you're looking to um, have some kind of loyalty and devotion maybe even taking yourself out of a situation, okay? Because you receive some kind of good news. Don't worry, I'm gonna bring it all together here. 
because this massive change that happens and something goes in your favor going further here by the end of the month you're getting attention you're getting a victory you're getting recognized and you're getting some kind of communication letter message document paperwork Wow, this is a good month, actually. It starts out like this, but then by the end of the month, it seems like you're not the only sign also either. So let's talk about it. Let's bring it together as a whole. Okay, so there were some challenges coming up at the beginning of the month, but you overcame those challenges when it came to the stagnation. And uh, things opened up and allowed you to take some risks here, okay? And there was people involved with this, so you were doing some kind of networking, socializing, uh, and it brought in this money and allowed you to see the bigger picture. So there was a sense of this, this loyalty and devotion to this situation, even though you kind of wanted to step back from it, things went in your favor and it was really successful. Okay, so main person uh, is concerned about losing something gains knowledge about some things that have been causing you issues. Massive changes and a shock and surprise about how happy this is gonna turn out. And actually lucky too, because it's like almost like winning the lottery there. That's a gambling card there, okay? It's a lucky chance situation that actually just gangbusters. You, you guys, uh, it's, it's gonna go well. You're gonna win big on this. Okay, and you're going to get communication and a recognition of this and a victory. So it's definitely a turn of events here that started out with something that was confusing. Um, so you received some kind of money, some kind of, you received something here, okay? That was a little bit confusing or hidden or deceptive in a way where you were concerned there was some kind of rosy colored glasses and you were doing some juggling. So someone's like, no, just take this, take this money, you know, I wanna hold on to you and there's some politics you're being played and do you get this good news? which is really happy for you. Successful, material happiness, abundance, there's sun card energy, very lucky. And uh, there's this, this truth about this situation and this understanding which brings you this victory here, this recognition around it. And we see that you're defending your position here when it comes to this new idea, this new understanding, and when it comes to these people's indecisions you're going for what you want. You're going to fulfill your desires here with the Nine of Cups energy. Oh my goodness. Great, 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 great career reading. Okay, so let's get you guys some advice. Let's see, it's this deck. Can I have some advice for my Leos when it comes to their career in finance for the highest best good for the best possible outcome for them? For the month of February, show me the to see. Show me the cards I need. Two, C. All right, let's see here, Leo. Get ready to be happy. Sun card's coming out. There's gonna be a complete contract union coming up. And it says, know that you are protected on the face of any challenges, but remain cautious. Okay, so when it comes to this commitment, this contract, you know, really look it over and make sure everything is in line there. And maybe delay that if you have to, because you have to make sure that everything is thorough. Okay, when it, and when you put this in writing, okay? So, and there's some traveling or some big changes coming in for you guys. There are spiritual messages and great wisdom to be found during this period of transition. So pay attention to your intuition too. When you go and you take this risk, this leap of faith. Yes, again, listen to your spiritual guidance. You guys are gonna rise up from the ashes on this. You guys are gonna be the phoenix. Oh my goodness. Yep, be the phoenix. There's going to be a renewal after a period of crisis. That's what I told you. It's going to be gangbusters. It's just going to be a win-win situation for you guys. Okay, so let's see what you need to know spiritually that you don't know. Wow. What? Uh, you guys have some good reading today for February. Not only in love, but, but in career and finance, Leo. Wow. I think this, is, this has to be the, one of the best readings I've given you guys ever. Okay? One of the best readings I've given you guys ever. This, I mean, is, is a complete whole, like, great reading all the way around. All right, so. 
Can I advice for my Leos when it comes to what they need to know spiritually that they don't know? They need to know that can help them. Show me the cards they need to see. Show me the cards they need to see. <laughs> see, it says get ready for your blessings, Leo. Get ready for your blessings, Leo. And listen to your inner in insight. Says the insight to these blessings. There's insight to these blessings. Okay. Keep being determined. Focus more on your concentration and making this decision and follow your inner guidance. Okay, so you're about to receive blessings. So make this as a, as a reason for you guys to be more determined to focus more on your inner guidance. This is going to be your sign to show you, okay, this is, this is the universe sign to show you that Yes, you're making the right decision, okay? So listen to the inner guidance. These are blessings. Okay. All right, my beautiful Leos. I love you guys so much. If you guys like it this way, you want me to continue this way, hit that like button. Let me know in the comments below. Leo, you know I want to hear from you guys in the comments below, okay? All right. I, I feel like it's been a while since you guys like had a completely like great month. This is going to be a great month for you guys. So you know when I hear you guys in the comments below. So if it resonates, you want to claim this message, or you feel comfortable sharing your own personal situation with me, Leo, I would love to hear from you guys in the comments below. I love you guys so much. I'll see you guys another day or two. Have a great rest of your next couple days, and I will see you guys soon.